Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in this one today I'm going to be talking to you about and showing you a large video game haul that I received at the weekend which was Saturday the 29th of April I believe. Um, and basically to give you a bit of backstory, a guy named Ricardo messaged me and he said look I've got this large video game collection would uh, you know would you be interested I'm looking to move it on. It wasn't particularly his collection but obviously he was looking to move it on and um, I said yeah I'd be interested. We ended up talking on text for a little bit he actually called me up and we managed to negotiate a deal after a little bit of hard negotiation. We got there in the end. I'm not going to talk about price in this video because that's what we agreed. Um, so obviously I'm not going to be talking about price. But um, what I will do is I'll go through and I will show it you. Now I also wanted to quickly state that, you know, if ever anyone's interested in moving on a bulk load of stuff, I am an interested buyer so long as there is a little bit of meat left on the bone, so long as there is a little bit of profit left. So if you ever do have, you know, a, a fair amount of stuff and you would like to move it on, or even just a small amount of stuff um, that you'd like to move on, I am an interested buyer and you can contact me down below over on my Facebook page. So yeah, without further ado, what I'm going to do is do a little bit of an overview of the haul in the other room uh, and then show it you as a mass and then what I'll do is uh, put my phone down over there and uh, show you a few of the titles. I'm not going to show you everything. There's actually over 700 video games and PC games, so it would just take forever to show you everything. But I will give you a, you know, a bit of an overview and then um, go into detail on a few different games that I'm probably going to be sending into FBA. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get going. So basically they're all in boxes, but I'll show you what I can of it and I might not be able to move boxes off boxes and stuff like that, but I'll show you what I can of it anyway. Um, so basically first off I'm going to explain the my process, sorry if it's a bit shaky. Um, yeah, my process was pulling out all the FBA first, so there are all the FBA in that box there, not a massive box, but certainly quite a lot of games in there still. Um, and all the sort of better ones were pulled out for FBA and um, what was I going to say as well? Oh, and basically what I, what I did was I double checked all the games and what I mean by that is I scanned them all in and then I looked at the sales rank and then I thought, oh yeah, yeah, that that might be something. Then what I did was I went on Camel 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 and scanned each individual one in that box onto Camel 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 to check if it had a sales frequency of more than four times a month. So then I knew I was fairly okay, you know. If, if it sells four times a month or more, I'm ha I'm I'm fairly happy with that. A lot of them in there sold sold way more than four times a month, but there was some of them in there that only sold like four times a month. Um, I think there was one of them in there that sold three times a month, but I decided to send it in for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, that was my process. So pulling out of these boxes all the FBA stuff. Now it's worth noting. Like, this is the cut-off point, you know, this stuff here is just more stuff for eBay to get processed. I know it's terrible. And all that at the back there, more stuff to get processed on eBay. Um, or at least, maybe, I might, might need to scan them into Amazon, but they weren't part of the haul. Um, but that's just more stuff to sort. But it was basically this here, not that black box. Those down there, those three boxes there, these three boxes here those on top, all that in that box, and then those uh, five bundles of PS3 there. Um, so, yeah, uh, there was a lot of PC games in it, and I, w I was thinking, oh, God, I don't know much about PC games. I don't know whether there's going to be any money in the PC games. Turns out there is a bit of money in the PC games. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. Um, not really so much in these, these games, but... There's games in the FBA that, that are worth a bit of money. There wasn't really many, if any, well, yeah, many uh, games over 20 quid. But there was a lot, a lot of 10 to 15 pound games. And that sort of makes, you know, makes up the numbers, really. Um, oh, yeah, my mum's back there. Hmm, anyway, um, yeah, so that distracted me. But, yeah, so... Um, as I say, there was a lot of 10 to 15 game, uh, pound games on mass, so that sort of made up the num numbers. But I'll just quickly show you here. So we've got like 
action PC games here. We've got this Wii and DS bundle that I'm actually currently so sorting from down there. Uh, we've got Sims games there, Sims City. I don't even know whether that is a Sims game, but I assumed it was, so I put it in the Sims bundle. Um, and then under this little cardboard here, we've got all sports games, PC games. And then here, I've started bundling up for eBay, and I've actually finally got round to getting some elastic bands and uh, putting elastic bands around my bundles, except those ones over there, which I will do in a bit. Um, and then under that, this bit isn't really very exciting here, so I'm not really going to take the effort in getting the boxes off, uh, because literally that one there is just like thriller PC games and stuff like that. And yeah, they'll do well in large job lots, but the ten a penny really, unfortunately. Um, and then the bottom one is... Um, Oh, what's the bottom one? Oh, like miscellaneous games like Sudoku or Sudoku or however you say it. And like Tetris and just things like that. Miscellaneous stuff. Again, they'll do okay in large job lots. But I don't think I'm going to get tons of money back off them. Um, as I say, I'm sorting these. These will be bundled up. Now, these aren't sealed, by the way, just so you know. These are like seals that... Um, that uh, Ricardo, I, I believe it's his uncle uh, who had this large collection or, or the majority of it. But these were what his uncle has put on. Um, and I thought it was quite nice, you know, that it showed um, that he cared for a lot of these video games. But it was quite odd because he put on uh, these seals for games that really weren't really worth that much. I'll show you what I mean. Like, I mean, Jackass, Surf's Up. I've scammed them into Amazon and they're not really worth much, so I don't know, but obviously he, he's favoured those games or something, so he's, so he's put those uh, sleeves on. But yeah, anyway, so that's that. Um, so they're going to go in bundles on eBay. Um, and then in here, just open this up. Sorry, these are out. It's a bit of a mess. These PC games here are out of there. And they were all ones I couldn't send into Amazon, PC games I couldn't send into Amazon because the ranks were too high, but they did hold some good value on Amazon. So I'm thinking some of these might have some value on eBay. Um, but yeah, so that was that. I'm just going to put them, i just plonk them down there for now. Um, these are all PS2. Again, I'll just... Oh, there we go. Again, any of the seals you see are just, you know, sleeves that he's put on himself. Um, and, yeah, these are just going to get bundled up on eBay. I don't think there's anything fantastic in there. If there was anything fantastic in there, it has been sent to it. Well, put in that box to be sent to FBA. Um, so that's that. We've got down in this bottom box. I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to move this, but... Let's see if I can't show you a little bit of something out of it. One sec. We've got... Oh, no, these boxes are breaking. Oh, no. What's that for me? Well, anyway, you can see there, it's like Xbox 360, Xbox Original, a few GameCube. I think it was about four or five GameCube. Um... Oh, and PlayStation 1, a few PS1 in there. Again, there wasn't many PS1, um, Xbox Original, GameCube, that sort of stuff. So, that's all in there. Again, they weren't really suited to FBA, so they're going to get bundled. And then in the bottom one, I'll just show you down there. In the bottom one, right down there, is PS2 again. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll give you, I've given you a little bit of a new overview. I know I've not really done much of a haul video um, but it's the best I can offer at this point because I'm really just trying to get through it. What I will do though is I'll sit down in a minute and I'll put you in the other room and what I'll do is choose a few items out of there, out of the FBA box and I'll show you a few of those and sort of tell you what they're worth and that sort of stuff, you know, general stuff. But there's no way when you're getting hauls on this scale that you can do any sort of haul video. You know, you just have to sort of do... You do little overviews of it, really, because I'm not going to sit down and go through 700 games with you. It's just not not efficient. But, yeah, anyway, so I'll, I'll see you in a minute in the other room. Hi, guys. So um, I've just pulled out a stack, you know, a selection of stuff out of that FBA box. By no means are these the best titles uh, of the bundle. By no means are they the worst. Um, the worst, even. Not the worst. Uh, the worst. But... Yeah, but just a few... Ooh, 
someone commented on a video. Nice. Um, so I've never had that before. When I'm actually recording a video, someone actually comment on a video. Well, maybe I have, but I just didn't realise it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go through them now. Uh, I've got a few PC games, PSP games, PS3 games, that sort of stuff. Um, and it's getting on it's getting on for time-wise, you know, we're about bloody quarter to five or something. I'm trying to look in reverse at that clock. Um, yeah, the days just go, don't they? The days, you don't have time to do anything. It feels like the day's just gone. But, yeah, anyway, we'll get on with it. So, PS2, Silent Hill 4, The Room. Probably looking about £12, £13 for that on FBA. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, Crash... Tag Team Racing um, on PSP. Uh, again, all like I should I should have stated this. All of these have manuals unless um, I say otherwise. Now I will say otherwise for a few of these in this bundle. A few of them don't have manuals. So yeah, uh, Crash Tag Team Racing probably looking about nine pound on that. So yeah, that's not too bad. Um, Wave Race Blue Storm. Now I believe this wasn't a very good title it's not got its manual either um it wasn't a great title but for some reason it's in the fba box now i think that someone had this on for six quid in good condition so if mine's not got its manual i don't know why i've put it in the fba box but i might have to do another bit of research on that but i was i was getting very very tired at one point going through scanning through all these so yeah maybe i made a mistake on that one but i don't know anyway in good condition it goes for uh, six quid or thereabouts, maybe a bit more. Um, but yeah, mine doesn't have its manual, so I don't know. May maybe it does go for six quid, right? You know, in acceptable condition. But uh, I'll have to double check on that one. I might have made a mistake. Um, Far Cry 4 limited edition. I think I'm looking about 12, 13 pound on that one as well. Um, this one I can't remember the price on. I believe it. What does it say here? Civilization Revolution. I can't see it because it's covered up, and I can't see it there because it's covered up. Civili I think it's Civilization Revolution. Oh yeah, it's from the Civilization games. Yeah, yeah, it is Civilization. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember on that one, but it was around a tenner, maybe just sub a tenner. I think maybe seven or eight quid, something like that, on that one. Um, SingStar Abba again, probably only about seven, uh, six or seven pound on that one. Uh, Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, uh, about £10, £11 on that one, so yeah, and that has its manual, all nice as I say, so yeah, that's that one, uh, only about five, you know, bottom end of what I want to be sending stuff in at, but you know, 5 99 on this one, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, PS3, um, and then we have some lower value DS games that I, that I just took out of the red box, uh, Titanic, I think again, 6 7 quid, something like that, Amazing Adventures, The Forgotten Ruins, again, probably only six, seven quid. Sims, Animals, Africa, that looks like a pretty fun game. I might even have a bit of a play of this one, to be honest. Because when I test games, I don't play them for very long, because I test so many games. I just have to sort of just in, out, in, out. I, I play the ones that I really want to play, like... Um, I got Star Wars Battlefront 2 the other week, and I, and I had a half an hour on that, you know. And I play a few games, like N64 games, I like playing them. And, you know, like the vintage consoles, I play them. But, yeah, with this stuff, I generally choose not to play it. I just literally in, does it work, is it okay, yeah, great. And then out again. Um, but that's how you have to be if you're, if you're testing things on volume. Unfortunately, you just don't get the time to, to play as many as you like, but... Might have a quick go of that one, a quick cheeky go. Um, so that's those. Uh, one, oh, I'll do this here. Uh, Rugrats Search for Repair. I'm going to change the case on that, obviously, because there's a crack there. I don't know if you can see it going down there. Down there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, but, yeah, I think I think maybe £15 on that one, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I think 10 to 15 on that one on FBA, so, yeah, not too bad. Um, now we have some PC games. I'm sending in a lot more PC games than this. Um, but these are just some of them. Now, I said on the stream today, the live stream that I showed my other video game haul, um, basically, am I okay sending in PC games to Amazon FBA? I don't know. I've never done it, or I might have done it once. I don't know. Um, but basically, I didn't know whether 
certain like serial codes or things like that are like one-offs or if you use them are the only one-off so if anyone sees anything in this stack that they say oh no you can you, you know you know you can only use one so on or anything like that please give me a shout because then i'm not going to send it in obviously um call of duty du uh, deluxe edition about 10 quid on that it's one of the best of things you know uh, like the sort of sold out thing with this cover on it around it. Oh god, I just dropped all them. Um, sorry, sorry, one second. So yeah, about £10 on that. Left 4 Dead 2 PC. Might have a play of that one. Yeah, probably will have a play of that one. Um, £10 on that. Mystic, the Agency of Anomalies Mystic Hospital. I think that was sub uh, sub £10, but I can't remember how much, but it, I think it was sub £10. Black and White 2, uh, this goes for more than the original Black and White. I will have a play of this one, I like this one. Um, I, yeah, I, I do, I, so I, hold, I hold a little bit of nostalgia with this one. Um, so yeah, I'll have a play of that one, that's probably going to be about a 20 quid game, so happy with that. Probably one of the few £20 games in the job lot. Um, Dark Parables, The Exiled Prince, uh, yeah, about 15, 16 quid on that one, so that's always nice. Uh, Sims Double Deluxe, now, am I okay sending these in? I'm not sure, someone tell me otherwise. Uh, it's got its four discs in there. Yeah, it's got its four discs in there. Now, I might have to price a little bit lower, I thought this one had its manual, but I might have to price a little bit lower, actually. Um, it's going for 10.99, but I might have to say maybe 8 quid, because it's not got its manual. Uh, the Sims Triple Deluxe, that's going for 11 um, And then final couple that I've got on me here. Uh, Need for Speed Nitro on the Wii. Uh, uh, oh my god, I've scanned through so many Need for Speeds in this bundle. And Need for Speed seem to be, as a, like a, oh, what do you call it, a game series. They seem to hold some okay value. This one goes for £10 on Amazon FBA. And then finally I'm saying, oh, got a message there. Um, anyway, right, I'll get, I'll... Uh, I'll respond to that message after this video. And then finally, I just wanted to show this one. Uh, Wii Fit Plus. This was pretty much on the top of the bundle. And I thought, oh, I'll show that one. Because uh, if you don't know, this goes for a tenner on Amazon FBA on its own. Um, and this one's got its manual and everything. Which is nice. Um, again, in good use condition. Um, and yeah, as I say, if you don't know, it goes for a tenner on FBA. Um, so, it's well worth sending it in and maybe not bundling it with your Wii Fit board. Or what you could do is bundle it with your Wii Fit board. Uh, oh no, what you know what you could do, that's what I'm trying to say. What you could do is, you could bundle your Wii Fit, if you get a Wii Fit. Because I find a lot of Wii bundles come with Wii Fit and Wii Fit Plus. What you can do is bundle your Wii Fit with your Wii Fit board. And then if you get this one, send it in separately. You know, say, well, send it in on its own to Amazon FBA and get some better money on it than just bundling it up with your board. Um, so that's what I'm get, that's what I'm done with that. I've got bloody loads of them around. I've got loads of them around at the moment. Um, and I've got loads bundled with boards as well at the moment. Um, but yeah, so that's just a selection of what's in that box. Obviously there's a hell of a lot more, but I'm not going to sit here for... I mean, we're already on... We're coming up to nine minutes now. Um, and that was probably 20% of the FBA stuff. And then I've got all the eBay stuff to show you on top of it. So there's just no way I'm going to get to do it. So I thought I'd just do a very quick selection. And then I can bring you at least some content relating to this haul. Um, and talk to you a little bit about it. And obviously then I can get on with some work as we're coming up to 10 to 5. Um, so yeah, I'll get on with some work for a little bit. I'll, go, I'll, I'll have my tea and then I'll get on with some more work I think. I'll probably work till about 8 o'clock today. Uh, yesterday was crazy. I was just like working all day. I had a break for lunch. I had a I had a, uh, a break for tea, and I had like a little break for a walk in between when I where I actually end up sneaking off to the charity shop um, anyway on my walk. So that's sort of like work anyway, but it doesn't feel like work. That's the problem with this job. It doesn't feel like work, and you just you you can just go mad with it. You know, if you enjoy it that much, you can just end up working and working and working. But I have to say, I did suffer with a bit of burnout last night. I did. I said to my like, I, I went for a shower at about half eight, and I thought, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in bed, and I'm gonna do some listing. And I didn't. I, I just, I, I honestly, I could have, I could have fallen asleep at quarter past nine. I really could, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna go now because it's not a vlog or anything. I'm 
treating it like it's a vlog. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And as I said, if you ever want to move some stuff on um, and you're willing to take you know, a fair price for it, but that obviously I can make some money for it, please do contact me down below on my Facebook page and I will be more than an interested by it if, um, as I say, there's a little bit of money in it for me. So, yeah, I will leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys. Mm -hmm.